530, a first of its kind ship making a stop in Quonset. And the massive vessel isn't fueled by oil. Eyewitness News got an exclusive tour today. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson has the story from the South County Mobile Newsroom in North Kingstown, new at 530. We're here at the port of Davisville in Quonset, home to one of the largest auto importers in the entire country. Now, a bunch of different boats come here throughout the year, but none are quite like this one. Hi, Chief. Well, Captain. All aboard NYK's Ariga leader, Eyewitness News got an exclusive tour of the massive 200-foot vessel. The six-year-old ship came to Quonset to drop off more than 700 Subaru vehicles today. While most ships this size are fueled by oil, the Ariga leader gets some of its power from a different source. Well, these are the solar panels that uh, supply the vessel with auxiliary power needs. In fact, according to NYK's area operations manager, Matthew Martin, it's the first of its kind solar-assisted ship. It doesn't actually move the vessel, but but it removes the burden of the generators and allows for less power to be generated by them. Think of it as an early hybrid boat. 300 of these solar panels line the top of the ship to take in energy from the sun and provide electrical power for the entire ship. Not only does that save fuel, it's also environmentally friendly. By reducing our fuel, we reduce our CO2 emissions and our costs. And today, local government leaders recognize the leader of Riga's crew for their attention to renewable energy. It's a great thing. It's, uh, it shows that people are noticing NYK's uh, devotion to the environment. Now, it's going to be a pretty short stop over here in Quonset. Once they're done unloading all of the vehicles here today, they'll be heading over to Boston and then across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.